since you are the architect of your life, your attitude toward your goal can make or break your success. Attitude is not simply good or bad. And it is not part of your genetics. Attitude, like any other skill, can be cultivated. This means that your attitude toward your goal can change. You can work on improving your attitude, just like you can work on playing piano. So what makes a winning attitude? How can you restructure your mental state to become a winner yourself? This chapter examines three paths to mental success. Work ethic, self-awareness, and accountability. Work ethic. What does it take to have a winning attitude? What separates the best from all the rest? Some champions are smart, some are lucky, others are daring, courageous, and proud. However, all champions share one common personality trait. They have an outstanding work ethic. No matter how talented you are or how many opportunities come on your way, no one can achieve excellence without having work ethic. Being talented or daring might get you halfway there. But without dedication and tenacity, even Superman couldn't get the job done. Work ethic takes you above and beyond the crowd. There is simply no substitute for giving maximum effort each and every day. Now let's have a look at what made Michael Jordan the greatest. The traits that made Michael Jordan an all-star are tools for success on and off the court. Michael Jordan may have been the greatest basketball player in history. While his athletic ability was astonishing, he is remembered as much for his mental toughness as for his physical stamina. In the NBA, where only the upper tier of the finest college athletes play as professionals, all the players are exceptional athletes. Each player has the height, the vertical leap, the ball handling skills and the shooting percentage to hold his own among the best. The traits that set Jordan apart had more to do with his mental state than his muscles. Let's have a closer look at how winning attitudes set Jordan above the crowd. Number 1. The Winning Way Jordan strove for excellence at everything he pursued, whether it was board games or other sports, like golf and baseball. Jordan played to win. Number 2. Work Ethic Jordan is remembered for his hard work, day in and day out. He hustled and pushed himself at every game and practice. Accountability Jordan made his share of mistakes. However, he did not blame others for his shortcomings. He took responsibility for his own performance, good or bad. Number 4. Pride Jordan took pride in what he did. He thrived on the search for excellence. Number 5. Open-mindedness At the top of his game, Jordan was the best player on the court. The man everyone was trying to shut down, but he still listened to his coaches and learned from their advice. Therefore, he continued to improve, where others would have become too egotistical to gain new skills. Number 6. Modesty Jordan was classy and articulate with the media. He did not get distracted by petty rivalry and pompous talk. He was gracious in victory and magnanimous in defeat. Number 7. A Team Player Jordan was a good friend and a loyal teammate. He supported the other members of his team and gave them credit as playmakers when he scored. Jordan also took the time to teach and encourage other players on his team. He helped newcomers improve their skills. Number 8. Focus Jordan was famous for sinking game-winning jump shots as the clock ticked down to zero. He excelled during moments of greatest pressure. He was a champion because he maintained his focus in situations where most players would be crippled by nerves. Self-awareness Self-awareness doesn't stop you from making mistakes. It allows you to learn from them. 
Self-awareness means knowing your own strengths and weaknesses. Self-awareness is a powerful tool for working toward a goal, although it isn't always easy. With self-awareness as your ally, you can decide what you want and make it happen. You make it happen piece by piece and work toward it every day. This requires candid self-analysis. To make your goal a reality, you must look carefully at your actions and habits. Are they helping you make progress or holding you back? Greatness is a collection of smart decisions. Each day, you have the power to bring your dream one step closer to reality. Self-awareness plus determination equals to improvement. Accountability. John Burrow says, A man can fail many times, but he isn't a failure until he begins to blame someone else. Accountability means you are responsible for your own actions. Even if a baby throws up your project work, it's your mistake because you left your project work in a place where she could reach it. Maybe you haven't started your project because your boss didn't remind you about the deadline. That's your mistake because you forgot to plan. It's your life and it's your responsibility. You determine your level of success. Learning accountability can one of the most empowering changes you ever make. A person without accountability is always a victim. It is never her fault. Someone else causes her mistakes. So she can't be held responsible for her actions. However, in her effort to avoid blame, a person without accountability cripples her ability to learn. Since she never admits her mistakes, she can never improve. Since outside forces determine her success, she has no control over her performance. In contrast, an accountable person is always in control and capable of growing from her mistakes. So admit your mistakes. It makes you stronger. With accountability, you master your mistakes and improve. Without accountability, your mistakes are the master of you. A person without accountability may think like, it's not my fault. She got the promotion, my colleague tricked me. An accountable person will think like, my colleague got the promotion because I wasn't prepared. I won't make this mistake again. Before proceeding to the next chapters, please download and finish the worksheets. This will help you understand all three paths to mental success.